Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to do this video today. Uh, Stay Bill has reached out to me and wanted to partner up and do a comprehensive video on how to use their products properly and show you guys how to store your equipment the correct way. Uh, Stay Bill has made this video possible and I am totally stoked. You know, I'll show you the proper storage procedures and I'll show you the proper treat rates of the product itself. So let's get started. We're going to go outside and we're going to uh, winterize my riding lawnmower and maybe a few others as time permits. But let's go ahead and get it going. Today we're going to be using the uh, Stabil storage. Uh, this comes in the 40 gallon uh, mix rate packaging. Basically what we're going to do here is I took a magic marker and I've marked each uh, this will be a quarter on up to one ounce and what you want to do is you want to take your cap off and poke a hole in the cellophane or the aluminum and you're going to want to fill this up and it will bleed back down to the correct level you might have to tilt it just a little to get it perfect and one ounce treats two and a half gallons so two and a half and two and a half is five we're going to go ahead and pour in We're going to do it again. Let it lead back down. Tilt it a little bit. Pour in. Now we're going to go fill this up with gas, and you can use any pretty much any. Uh, gas that there is even E85 up to E85 so any pump gas and it needs to be fresh um, it won't bring old stale funky gas back to good this will keep fresh gas fresh for 24 months some pretty good stuff gallons can I use stay bill in my personal vehicle why sure you can all you do is you buy the one that's 25 gallon ratio depending on your size of your tank mine's a 25 gallon tank 25 gallon mix ratio just pour in fill her up and you're treated for two years finish filling up the truck here Up, get the engine good and hot because we're going to change the oil. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to let the gas run down where, uh, well, wet, best case scenario would be to just let it run out of gas. That way, when you put your stay bill in there and you got your 95% filled tank, you don't want to fill it all the way completely full because you want a little bit of expansion, but you just want to keep uh, your tank full while you store it because it, uh, you don't want any condensation to get into your gas tank. Go ahead and get your mower uh, jacked up in the air. That way we can get underneath of it. We're gonna clean out from under the deck if it needs it. Now would be an opportune time to sharpen your blades. But all this grass on the deck, all that wet grass, it needs to be gone because what happens is when it sits over the winter, all that wet grass is going to cause that deck to rust and uh, I've actually seen decks just rust completely through because of the compacted uh, grass that's on top here. Basically what I do is I take compressed air and I just blow it all out and uh, I'll take my also sometimes I'll use my gas powered blower works real good. Underneath your mower you don't want to leave all this cake all this wet built up grass is here you want to try to get all this out of here you can because you don't want that to stick 
and be a wet mess under here because it's just going to rust. As you can tell, of course, this mower is probably 20 years old. It's got a couple of rusted through spots right here. The only reason is, is because the way this deck is made, it creates a bowl right here and moisture just sits in there. And if you don't get that moisture out of there after every cutting, it's just going to rust. Ain't no way else about it. Put some rust rust oleum on it, some black rust oleum or whatever color your mower is. But let's get this uh, cleaned off of here. We'll go to the next step. Next step is to change the oil and clean your air filter or replace it. The reason that you want to change your oil is because it contains very corrosive acids. Oh, pardon me about the air compressor there. Uh, and it also contains moisture So you want to get the old oil out of there and put good fresh oil in before you store this machine My particular engine holds 1.5 quarts or 48 ounces uh, The next step basically we want to stabilize the fuel system And we're going to fill up the gas tank almost full you want about a little, you want a little space in there for expansion like I mentioned earlier I've got about a, an inch, two inch spacing there. Should be good to go. You wanna start your engine and let it run for about five minutes. You know, basically what you're doing, you're just letting the fuel make its way down to the carburetor. Uh, to help prevent gum and corrosion and varnish from uh, building up. And so you'll have trouble free starts all the next time you use it in the spring. Lastly, we want to remove the battery so you can store it. store your battery bolts in your battery put them back on the wire because dissimilar metals that are loose on each other will co create corrosion especially on a battery now what you want to do the reason you don't want to store this inside the machine is due to corrosion. Plus you want to be able to clean out down in there. As you can tell, over time, your uh, battery may, you know, I don't want to say it leaks, but uh, they do seep a little bit through the vents and you need to get that out of there so it doesn't rust your uh, battery tray out. This battery tray happens to be plastic and removable, so it makes it 10 times easier. Put your battery up on the shelf here. Uh, not real high, because it is heavy, but uh, about six foot, you know, is a good height. Um, you just want to keep it out of reach of children. I like to put mine near a uh, plug so I can put my trickle charger on it, 
so it will stay warm all winter and uh, it'll be good to go next year. I just wanted to thank Staybill for sponsoring my video. Uh, this is a good opportunity to get the uh, information out there for a lot of folks that don't know how to uh, stabilize and maintain their equipment for winter storage. Um, again, thank you. Awesome opportunity. All my subscribers, if it wasn't for y'all, I couldn't do the Boer Medic 1. I, I just couldn't do it. But uh, if y'all have any questions about how to stabilize your equipment for winter storage, let me know. More Medic 1. Have a good day.